channel. Today's video is how I got my hair into this sunset hair ombre thing. People say it looks like the Instagram thing. It's a fucking sunset. I don't know, dude. I did record it as usual. I do this every time I dye my hair. This is nothing new, but I'm going to explain it to you anyway. There are some parts that did get cut out, but I'm going to explain. And I tried like two new things with my hair this time, so you want those tips, stay tuned. I stop filming right here because I did get a little frustrated. This happened last time I used Transylvania. Um, basically, it wouldn't come out. Um, the color stripper that I used, it just it wasn't working with it. Uh, I do know bleach washes exist, so yes, I attempted the bleach wash. For people that don't know what a bleach wash is, it's usually when you get a 20 or 30 volume developer and bleach. You know, you make a very small portion of bleach and then fill the rest of that bitch with fucking shampoo and mix it. And then you leave it in your hair for like 15 minutes, massage it in there and wash it out. Uh, you can go to like 45 minutes. It matters what developer you use. Um, please don't use 40 volume. I never, I never, no, just stop. What I did in the video, I showed you that I used the color stripper and it went back to that stupid... Ugh, the same thing that happened last time when I used Transylvania. The roots were pale, uh, and you went up and it was green, and then you went farther it was blue, and then the end was a little, kind of purple. If you don't know, Transylvania is a blue, purple, black, blue, purple, black, yeah, blue, purple, black dye. It's semi-permanent. It's not permanent. Um, and when it fades out, it goes to a blue, and then it transitions to a purple, and then purple goes to a pink. So, it was going through that whole phase on my head. Um, so, I did the color stripper, that's what it turned out into. Then, I tried the bleach wash, but I also tried the coconut oil technique trick thing. Uh, I never used it before, I thought it was kind of bullshit. I really did, I thought it was bullshit, but it actually, it works. And I will use it in the future, but only a little bit, or before and after. I went to the store, got coconut oil, put it in my head, slept with it in. The next day, I bleach washed my hair, and it went into a more of a purpley pink kind of look. And then, you know, it was just very weird because the coconut oil made it feel very different. Like my hair, it didn't feel damaged. I just could still feel the coconut oil in my hair. and. It really messed with the process of the bleach wash, so I don't really recommend it with it. I mean, if your hair's like fucked up, then well, of course, let your hair heal before you do a bleach wash, but I would recommend using coconut oil with it. But my hair was like really healthy at the time, so I didn't have to, but I really wanted to keep that healthiness. I didn't want to like damage it and then have to heal my hair and then, you know, another month pops up where I change my hair again and then I go through that cycle of just taking care of damaged hair, you know? I think it would be better to do it before, sleep overnight with the coconut oil, do the bleach wash in the morning, and then apply coconut oil after. Um, but I did two of those cycles of bleach washing within two days, so two separate days for one wash, and my hair turned into a really pale pink and my roots were blonde and that was fantastic but what i originally planned to do with my hair i couldn't i needed a blank canvas so i switched everything up i like threw out like five different colors five or six different colors and i committed to this ombre that i've never tried before <laughs> um it wasn't too hard honestly if you've done ombre before it's it's easy you blend the shit it's nothing too fucking hard it just takes a lot of time and it's really annoying but when you bring it onto your own head that's when it changes the whole game so i'm going to give you guys some tips on that i knew the measurements of from the root what i wanted to use as root which is this dark color right here to the light purple. I had to do that to my own hair for it to work with the extensions. Now, here's 
fucking tip. And yes, I know the video cut out right before I was doing the rest of my hair. I show you the end result right here. But let me explain this completely so you guys understand and don't fuck this up for yourself. I know I had something this again, a pat on the back, because I think I did pretty well. It worked this time. But when you're doing ombre with your real hair into the extensions rather than just a solid color on your hair and your extensions create the ombre right there this is a little more complicated so your roots are probably gonna bleed out if they're a lot darker they're most likely gonna bleed out so by the smallest measurement in the world make your roots on your actual hair a little bit shorter because you're gonna be washing your real hair more than your extensions um so i had like four inches of the root and then I had the rest of it pink or the light purple so on my real hair I would do three inches and then the rest of it that light purple you know what I mean so over time it would bleed and not only that but it makes it easier to blend you have this little blending area and it just makes it look so much better um, always wash your hair with cold water uh, matters what kind of shampoos that you use you don't want ones that make your hair bleed out a lot like um, heads and shoulders or Man and tail, those make your hair bleed so much. So it's good to look into a shampoo that will not make your hair bleed that much because it's gonna cover the rest of the hair. Trust me on this. We've been through this problem before where I spent three hours on my real hair for it to blend perfectly and the roots just took over inside the shower. Never wash your hair with hot hair. I mean, never wash your hair with hot water. I have two codes for you from Arctic Fox and VP Fashion. They're both Kiwi, Kiwi Love. So if you want to use those codes, you can get 10% off, whether it's hair dye or extensions, it's up to you. Um, and I both highly recommend either this is the grams and the size that I use for this, and these are all the ones that I use for Arctic Fox. So that's all of it and also all of this information will be in the description so there will be links and it'll be a lot easier to get all these products down below if you have any questions at all go ahead and write them down i hope you're having an amazing day and journey and i will see you in the next video bye y'all